Okay, so sit down. We're gonna go over a recent article that was written by Caveman Elliot Friedman. Yeah. It's like this guy goes into hibernation every once in a while and releases his 31 thought shenanigans. Anyway, we're gonna go over a piece that he just wrote fresh. It's fresh meat on the Montreal Canadiens titled the Canadians could get wild again, meaning that they may just have another crazy off season, much like the last one. And when we're done going over this article, we're going to have a chat about it and some of the names that were mentioned in the article. But first, before we begin, if you guys are a fan of the Habs or you know the cave that Elliot Friedman and Sam Lasko both live in, then please consider subscribing to my channel as I upload a ton of hockey content and would really enjoy having some more you grasshoppers tag along for the ride. Now, go ahead, sit down. You're probably already sitting down anyway, right? Who watches YouTube sitting up? You're all probably on the toilet. Anyway, let's quickly get this article out of the way. And don't worry because it's not too long. Just cross your legs like you're in kindergarten again and pretend this is story time and I'm your teacher. <sighs> Here it goes. When most of the rest of the league, what kind of start is that when most of the rest of the league? Anyway, we're pinching pennies last offseason. Canadians GM Mark Bergevin aggressively added players and payroll. And ultimately, it paid off with an appearance in the Stanley Cup final. Now, he might be in a position to make a similar splash. Whoa, that's what I want to hear. I'm all ears, Elliot. Moving on. It's just that at the moment, it's uncertain how much cap room he will have. They're projected to have $14 million in cap room this offseason before re-signing any players. Jesperi, not Antiniemi, and Arturi Lekkonen are RFAs, while Philip Deneau, Yoel Armia, and Corey Scary are UFAs that they might want back. But there are some big questions around two other key players. This week, it was reported that injuries have put Shea Weber's career in jeopardy. Dun, dun, dun! Though, it's not clear yet if the NHL would allow him to go on LTIR and thus give the Canadians $7.857 million in additional cap space or if he would just have to retire, which would leave a cap recapture penalty instead. Cap recapture. Wow. And then there's good old Jonathan Drouin, who missed the entire playoffs for personal reasons and with no indication yet when he's going to return. Here we go again. Get the X-Files music ready. If neither of these guys are back, Montreal could end up with a whole bunch more cap room than initially thought. Now, we believe Philip Deneau is going to market, Pierre Lebron mentioned on Thursday night. Friedman said, Marc Bergevin is a wild man, right? When he's got money to throw, he's going to throw it. The whole thing about Montreal's team is this move by Weber. The fact he's not going to play for at least a year, it changes the entire team. I could see Bergevin, because of the way he thinks, going out and taking a big swing. I said Landeskog. Would it surprise you if that guy got to market and, depending on Bergevin's situation, taking a swing at that? How about Eichel? Would that surprise you? Things are about to get real interesting in Montreal all over again. Boom! There you have it. Elliot Friedman, live from the cave that he's been living in spitting his thoughts in your ears now number one whoever wrote that article was like two years old and used a crown number two towards the end of the article there friedman just had to go out and bring up marv from home alone also known as jack eichel of the buffalo sabers and just throw out the possibility that hey maybe old marky mark is thinking about taking a home run swing for jack eichel huh now, before everybody brings up the injuries of Jack Eichel and how he's basically robotic now from the waist up, held together by nuts and bolts, let's not forget, okay? This robot is 24 years old. 24 years old! <coughs> Sorry, got a little excited. Acquiring Jackie Chan Eichel would be massive. The guy had a 36 goal season already. He's got 355 points in 375 games. So yeah, he ain't no slouch by no means. And apparently, as time goes on and on, the Buffalo Sabres have been dropping the price tag a little on this guy. Huh? Remember when earlier during the season they were asking for the equivalence of four first round picks? Well, they didn't get any takers. And they're dropping the price a little bit. So, what do you think a good offer would be for Jack Eichel? From a Habs perspective, huh? 
Pa Barn and a seventh? Let me know. Because I know everybody hates trading away some of the team's young kids. Eh? The youngins. Even though Jack Eichel is young himself. And everybody hates trading away the draft picks and the prospects. But let's take Yasperi Kotkaniemi, for example. You love him, right? I do too. He's 20 years old. He's probably still getting breastfed. Well, I'm willing to bet everybody and their cats and dogs would be willing to fire over Yasperi Kotkaniemi plus more as a package to get a crack at Jack. Obviously, it's going to take more than Kotkaniemi, okay? It's going to be Kotkaniemi plus plus a lot more. I'm just saying, this would be the starting point. And if you ask me, how can you not be at least calling about a guy like Jack Eichel? You gotta call. Even if it's realistic or not, you gotta phone up the Buffalo Sabres and be like, hey, your team has been shit for the past few years, so what do you want to do here? Which players on our team right now are you interested in that are not named Suzuki and Caulfield? And you go from there. If somebody's still on the other line, then that's a good sign. <sighs> The other player mentioned by Friedman was, of course, Gabriel Landeskog, who we talked about last night in a video. And apparently, he's not very happy right now in Colorado with the way negotiations have been going. I mean, at this point, I'm willing to bet my left nostril that this guy is going to free agency. Do not pass go. Do not collect $200. He's going there, and he's going to have a little change in his pockets going jing-a-ling-a-ling by the time he's done. Boy, I tell you. There are going to be a shit ton of teams calling about this guy and asking his agent how many cookies is it going to take to get this guy and what kind of cookies. Moving on. You got to admit, this offseason has been strange as hell so far. Huh? It didn't really seem at the beginning like the Habs were going to have any cap room at all. And now, all of a sudden, they're like a kid at the dollar store with 20 bucks. And I got to agree with Elliot Friedman. I think things are about to get really Really, really interesting. So buckle up, buttercups, and let's see what happens. That does it for this video. My apologies. It is long as shit, and I'll see you next time.